Welcome back, everyone. We'll get right into this one, but first, let me quickly tell you about the special offer I'm rolling out for Christmas. Not to pat my own back, but people often comment on my videos complimenting my white teeth. If you were wondering how they look so good, this is the way. It's the all-in-one snow teeth whitening kit. Like many of you, I have to have my coffee every morning. But unfortunately, it does stain your teeth over time, even though you brush twice a day. Snow is the solution. It was designed in California by dentists specifically to whiten deep wine and coffee stains and in only nine minutes. It's quick, it's easy, and most important of all, it works. Join me and the over 500 100,000 happy customers right now. Use the links in the description or pinned comment and use promo code let it snow to get 25% off right now. You'll remember a few days ago during Rudy Giuliani's election integrity hearings in Michigan, State Rep Cynthia A. Johnson launched into an unhinged tirade. I just want to remind you, I, I think it was the purpose of today's hearing to hear from people across Michigan who witnessed things at the TCF Center. That's why we're here. Well, you know, so, here, so here, and I'm not going to argue with you about that. Here, so okay, so they're here, but they're taking so much time, and I see no Detroiters. There is one Detroiter. It Stop that. Do you have a question? I, I'm willing. I, please stop yelling. We People need in the to... audience, let me handle this. Um, representative, listen, we've had hearings in the past, as you know. We'll have more hearings. Today, we've invited Mr. Giuliani, and Mr. Giuliani has brought forward witnesses uh, that, that he uh, is a, uh, says have firsthand knowledge of fraud. That's what we are doing today. If and if we want hearings, to find out if... Please let me finish. Yes. All right. So if you want to do other hearings, we're doing more hearings. But today we're here to hear from these people. So do you have a question for these witnesses? No, today? I have some concerns, right. well, many we, concerns, and I well, want to just I'm share rule with you... you out of order. What the concerns of order. Do you are have a point of order I'm sorry do you have a point of order yes what is your point of order point of order is to have them under oath you're out of order as I've said this is something that is not done here in this state um, it's really only uh, it may know, not be not done under court. the state this but you're allowing people to come in here and lie and I know they're lying representative uh, you're out of order I've given I've indulged you but you're out of order and we're going to move on. Fast forward to Monday and she's now put out a video titled, quote, a message to terrorists. So this is just a warning to you Trumpers. Be careful. Oh, walk lightly. Oh, we ain't playing with you. Enough of the shenanigans. Who's enough? What is enough? And for those of you who are soldiers, you know how to do it. Do what? Do it right. Do what right? Be in order. Make them pay. Oh. Wow. I mean, I'm sure all of you are now wondering when the media hammer will come down on this insane person for straight up calling for political violence against her political opposition. But I think we all know that's not going to happen. Just check out the cover story that the media has already put out there so that they can deflect from this one. That's right. Somebody allegedly left racist threats on her voicemail. So, of course, whatever she said before, whatever threats that she made are now just completely excused because they're justified. There's that good old plausible deniability at work again. Here's my question. Even if these voicemails are real, which we have no idea if they are, she could have paid somebody to make those. Even if they are real, I'm saying what does that matter? She made threats against the American population, people who disagree with her politically, like literally people just have a difference of opinion, and she wants soldiers to go out and make them pay. I'm not even sure which one of these things came first. Did she make the video after she got these voicemails, or did she make the video and then these voicemails appeared to give her cover and deflect? from that story. Don't most politicians get death threats? Hell, even I've gotten death threats. It really reminds me of when the Tea Parties were going strong during the Barack Obama administration and the constant baseless accusations of racism against them. To the point a few Democrats got together during one of the rallies to walk through a group of Tea Party protesters and then claim that there were people lobbing racial slurs at them and spitting on them. The problem with that is that despite all the cameras and all the microphones that were around them, 
them. Nobody caught any evidence of this actually occurring. Not even a $100,000 reward from Breitbart turned up any evidence. In any case, this woman has no business in her position of power. She needs to be removed, impeached, or charged with inciting violence. You can contact the state representative and let her know how you feel about being threatened with violence simply for having a difference of opinion. If you do choose to do that, please, please be respectful. Don't lower yourself to her level and give her ammunition. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so using one of the links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.